Hello, welcome to Valikov um, channel on YouTube. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and like this video. You can leave a comment in the comment section below. You can ask your questions and can always contact me. So I want to show you how to set your stop loss and OCO on Binance. How do you do this? First of all, you come to your trade. You go to your trade. This is under the assumption that you have an open trade. You, after, after you bought, after you've bought your coin, you've bought the coin, you've entered the trade. The next thing is to set your sell. But this time around, instead of setting your take profit, you're setting your stop limit. Stop limit is to help you minimize loss, just in case the, just in case the, um, you, you're not making profit and the D trade size like go down what you should do is that you click sell when you click sell you click this drop down and go to stop limit when you go to stop limit you select you type in the price that you want the trade to close at which is which is um just few satoshi below your entry price as your stop price then you repeat that same price in this limit repeat the same price limit and then you put your hundred percent amount of that coin and you click sell now if the if the coin does not go up and give you profit it starts going down immediately it hits this price that you put here it will close off that trade help it to minimize your loss maybe at five percent six percent seven percent eight percent or nine percent below your entry price so this has set your stop limit it is very simple just put the same price in the stop and the limit and then you put your amount of coin that you want to limit it from you want to minimize the loss over so the next thing is how to do your OCO OCO means one cancels the other which means you are setting both take profit and stop limit you're saying if the market goes up to, in, into profit it should Take profit for me but if market sites like we go the other way and i start losing you should close the trade for me so you're setting both what you should do is you come here again you click oco and then in this limit price you're putting the price you want to take profit at you put it then come down to the stock limit part the stop it is still is the price you want to minimize loss at so this top one will be above your entry price this next one now will not be below your entry price and the limit btc will be above your entry price that is the limit above and this limit and the thought in the third row will be the same price and then you put the amount that you want to the, the quantity maybe all your coins as the case may be you put 100 percent and then you click your sell remember you use the stop limit and your oco on your you use it mostly on your on the sell not the buy because you've entered the trade and you want to either minimize loss or you want to maximize profits or you want to do both using OCO so OCO let me go over it, over it again you come to the limit the first one above you put the price you want to take profit at the next one is the price you want to minimize loss at the next one is the price the same price you won't take profit at and then you put the amount the quantity of the coin that you want to you want to mini both minimize the loss and maximize the profit so this is simply how to take profit or minimize those using both stop limit and OCO it is very simple what do you think about this video you can leave a comment and your feedback in the comment section and i will attend to them thank you very much don't forget to subscribe to this channel thank you